Hi, I'm Mike Peel, and I'm here at AndEvCom with Albert Song, Senior Design Director for Mobile at Yahoo, and Alex Hanuska, Senior Engineering Manager at Yahoo, and we're going to talk to them about their award-winning Yahoo weather app. So what does it take to make an award-winning app? Let's see. I think we can boil it down to three things. The first thing is user focus. We have to understand what we want to provide the user as well as what the user is potentially looking for and figuring out the right balance of interactions and visual design to make that experience the most interesting and engaging. The second thing is awesome teamwork. Uh, in Yahoo, we have a culture where designers are very sensitive and we understand as much as we can um, constraints of designs, how, or constraints of engineering and how long things take, what's possible, what's performant on device, as well as engineers, engineers being sensitive to the mocks we give them and we try to have close, as close parity as possible between mocks and implementation. And the third most important thing would be finding delight in simplicity. Um, we're always striving to give the user the most important information um, and keeping ex ex extra cropped out of the way and making that experience very interesting and delightful. So you mentioned simplicity, but simple is never really that simple. Uh, what were some of the ways that you kept your app simplified? One thing that we do is we, at the beginning of a product cycle, we, we define three core value propositions of, this, of a product. For whether it was a photography, a book on photography, ease of use, and the like. And that sort of drives the entire product um, process. So we never deviate from these three things. And it allows us to really um, establish a baseline of what is important and what's not. And that helps us be able to determine what things are superfluous that we take out of the design. When we first initially explore, we go wild. And then we, do, we always come back to those three core principles to keep refining and simplifying. All right, so uh, let's take a look behind the scenes. Uh, so what were some of the ways that you um, kept memory usage or optimized memory usage across the app? Yeah, so um, knowing that the app, one of the, one of the things that makes the app so beautiful and so addictive are the Flickr images. And uh, knowing that they're high resolution images, what you need to do is really need to look at your core cases, where you need to spend the memory to make the app beautiful, right? And then you look at other cases, for example, blurred images. How can you um, <coughs> shrink the memory for blurred images? And then icons, right? So what we did, for example, is we used for the same icon, we didn't have a one-to-one -one ratio between the bitmap and the, and the uh, image view, right? We reused bitmap in the image view. So that was one way to remove additional memory, right? So the other uh, the other thing that we did was to use a native library that could transform images on the fly. So luckily we had um, a team that worked with us uh, that created this uh, native library that allowed us to actually blur images on the fly. And that allowed us to actually remove those images from the image cache. So there's, there's many ways that you can, uh, you can alleviate the memory pressure, right? You just need to find the cases that are uh, core to your experience and then those that you can actually um, uh, work on, right? And, uh, and, uh, yeah. Great. So do you have any words for, of encouragement for starting developers? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, Android as a, as a platform, right, is growing at an amazing rate, right? I think uh, overall it's at 70% currently in the world. And um, so there's a lot of opportunity out there. And um, one of the things that I would encourage people to do is if they can find someone that has experience, right, to partner up with them. Uh, that was one of the fastest ways I learned, right, is just to partner up with someone who has experience that can show you the ropes, right? But in addition to that, if, that, if you don't have access to something like this, there's uh, a lot of information out there on the web that you can, uh, that you can research, right? Even for us at this point, right, we still uh, continuously look at uh, Android, uh, the documentation, right? They have great examples on there on how to do things. And if, that, if you run out of that doc documentation, there's always books and, uh, and, and things like, uh, and DEF CON, for example. Thanks, guys, and enjoy your weekend.